Vice President Kamala Harris closes out the Democratic National Convention Thursday night when she accepts her party's historic presidential nomination and seizes one of her few remaining opportunities to appeal to an audience of millions. Harris will lay out her vision for the country and prosecute her case against Republican Donald Trump. Capping a whirlwind month that began when President Joe Biden ended his re-election bid and endorsed her to replace him atop the Democratic ticket. Harris has three objectives for her speech, according to a campaign official who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss sensitive speech preparations. Harris spoke briefly to the convention on Monday, when she thanked Biden and celebrated his record as president, and again on Tuesday, when the beginning of her rally in Milwaukee was streamed into the convention hall after Democrats reaffirmed their nomination of her with a state-by-state -state roll call. Among others who will speak before Harris on Thursday are Michigan Gov. Gretchen Whitmer, North Carolina Gov. Roy Cooper, civil rights leader Air Sharpton, and Randy Weingotten. <laughs> President of the American Federation of Teachers, the singer Pink also will perform. Many Americans had never heard of Walls until Harris made him her running mate, and the speech was an opportunity to introduce himself. He leaned into his experiences as a football coach, his time in the National Guard, and his recounting of his family's fertility struggles, all parts of his biography that Republicans have questioned in the days since Harris picked him. Harris is at 50% favorability in the survey with Donald Trump at 42. Under just one of the Electoral College scenarios, Harris could keep most of Biden's 2020 map, including his Midwestern Blue Wall, while giving up battleground Nevada and Arizona provided she keeps the Nebraska district that Biden won.